to actually get through to the next round of the cup um yeah i mean what a convincing win i don't think hartlepool actually really had an attack until the 60th 70th minute that that game was far too comfortable for us with our second string out to be honest um you know I, as far as I, I can make out they only really had a shot at like the 70th or so and then the only shot on target I can remember anyway was literally the last kick of the game so completely bossed that game um, from start to finish you knew as soon as the ball was kicked off really just the way we were playing that there was not a cat and else chance we weren't winning that game um, and I was concerned about the fact you know this team has had a problem in the past with breaking teams down we even saw that last year in the cup against Morecambe, letting us have the ball and we couldn't really do much. Um, and we ended up losing that game 2-1, I believe. So, and today, you know, that's put all those rumours to bed. I know Hartlepool aren't the best opposition, but the manner in we went, the manner we went in winning that game was just amazing. You know, it it doesn't matter what the opposition would have been today. Um, you know, if it had been a championship side, I still think we would have won that game. It was it was really good, really good from the boys. Um, yeah, I mean four nil at home. Um, you know, I've seen on Twitter twelve goals for JDT now in his first three games, zero goals conceded. 
obviously three wins. I mean, what more? What more could you want? Um, as he would say, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, ab absolutely buzzing and uh, great. Great for Malconde to pick up his first goal for the club. Um, you know, Scott Wharton gets another for his uh, boyhood club, and Dak returns to the first team with a goal as well. Something that had to happen really if he was on the uh, if he was on the team sheet. I couldn't see a world where Bradley Dak starts for Rovers against Hartlepool and doesn't score, and then obviously Ty getting one as well. What's great? So a lot of positives to be took from today, and. Um, I imagine Bradford away is going to be a, a tasty affair, one that I'm interested in potentially going to. So may have a vlog for that coming up if um, if the price is right for it, I guess. Um, obviously, it's only the round two of the Carabao Cup, um, but it should be a good game. You know, Husey, um, Smallwood, Chapman, and then there's been a few other players that I think we've had. Um, I've seen on Twitter, Sonogo or something like that, and then another lad from our youth whose name escapes me. But yeah, should be a good game. Uh, see the King of Ewood one more time, I guess. Um, and, you know, it, it'd be good to hopefully get past Bradford and then maybe pull one of the big boys in the third round uh, draw. It'd be great to do that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, let's see let's see where we can go this season in the Cup. It's been a hell of a long time and JDT is now at the wheel, I guess. So times have changed.